Hi right, guys, this is a DC Level One. I'm uh, posting a, a little video on uh, how to, how I uh, scratch built these uh, street lamps. Uh, these are street lamps that I've uh, manufactured myself. Um, not very difficult to do, uh, very simple, and uh, quite honestly, you can make quite a lot of them in a sh very short period of time. So uh, let me show you a little video on uh, how I went about to uh, create these uh, really good looking street lamps. All right. Alright guys, well uh, here are some of the materials you're going to require. You're going to require brass tube. You can pick this up at any uh, hobby store. These are pretty inexpensive. As well as also they're inexpensive are these uh, brooch tacks. These uh, I bought them at Michael's and they're literally just a couple of bucks for an entire pack. You'll see what this will eventually turn into. They look kind of like this here. And you have the LED. LED light 3mm LED. You have to have a little flange on the LED. Very important. So these are the three millimeter white LEDs. Uh, also, you're gonna need a pack of resistors. I use 750 ohm resistors. If you want, you can actually uh, buy stronger ones if you want to dim the uh, the light down a little bit more. That's totally up to you. And as well as wire. Just need any. Uh, doesn't matter. Just any plain. I went to here. I went with the thinnest wire I can find, but you can go with a little bit of a thicker. Wire. The main important thing about the wires is make sure that it can fit in the opening oops, of the tube. It's got to be able to pass through the interior of the tube. That's very important. So uh, I'll show you exactly how I go about creating these uh, street lamps. Okay, with the uh, with the tack in a, in a secured place, if you've got a lock vise, that's even better. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to pierce or just punch a hole in the center of the tack with a nail. This will at least get you started on uh, just gradually opening up and creating a hole for the uh, LED light. So uh, well, let me get that uh, done here. Okay well there you go. That's just the uh, you just lightly tap it with the nail and you've uh, just basically created a, a little uh, hole. This will get you started on uh, basically uh, allowing yourself to uh, create a larger hole to put, put in the uh, LED. All right, next you uh, split the little flanges. So this one here, you can see, you can split them up a little bit more. So you wanna split them up as wide as possible because what will happen is is that you will end up cutting the, uh, the little uh, flanges, the little flanges that stick out. So that will have to be uh, cut or you can just, the uh, um, best option I would normally do is just use some uh, nippers and just cut that right off. So I'm going to get that done. All right, with the little flanges now cut off, it looks like this. So as you can see, this is already starting to look like the uh, the lamp head, if you will, of the uh, the street light. Now it's a little rough on the edges. You can see here, but there's, that's going to serve a purpose in a few moments. What you're going to need to do is turn it over like such, and I'm going to hammer it in place into the piece of wood, so it literally anchors itself into the wood which will allow me to use a drill bit to basically uh, bore out the hole a little wider. Okay, I've just tapped the, uh, the tack with the rough edge into a scrap piece of wood. You can use any scrap piece of wood. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bore the hole a little bit larger. I'm going to start off with this 1 inch drill, uh, drill bit. And then once that is done, switch the drill bit to a 7-64 which is a perfect dimension for a 3, mi three millimeter uh, LED light. So uh, I'll get started on that. All right, and the, uh, once that is all done, this is pretty much what it'll look like. It'll look like this. Now the bottom part is a little bit rough, but uh, then what you would normally use is just use a file, and you, you file the, uh, the bottom half here smooth, so that uh, it looks uh, a little bit more neater than, than a sharp, ragged, uh, raggedy edge like this. Alright, well here is the test fit. It looks like the LED pierces perfectly through the, uh, through the uh, head of the tack. So that looks pretty, pretty good. So uh, next is uh, moving on, it's time to make the uh, the post, the street post that uh, will support the uh, the lamp. That, you'll need to take the brass tube and uh, cut it down to size. 
I would probably say about uh, nine uh, nine uh, centimeters or so as far as the uh, as far as the uh, the length. That would probably be uh, sufficient enough to uh, to bring the uh, the lamp size to a more of a HO scale. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the brass tube. All right, so I just cut the brass tube. Brass tube is approximately it's a uh, nine centimeters. So um, this is probably this is in roughly in about nine centimeters is roughly about three and a half inches. So you cut the brass tube about three and a half inches. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the LED connectors as part of the support of the beam. So what I'm gonna do here is I am going to use the long, which is the positive end of the uh, of the LED. So the LED has a short and a long. The long is the positive and the short is the negative. So what is very important is I'm going to take the long one and I'm going to wrap it around the pole and then I'm going to solder it directly to the pole. And what will this do is this pole will be electrified. So that will create the positive and then the little wire will be protruding out a little bit out of the top here which will be connected to the short end of the pole and that will uh, to the short end of the uh, connector and that will be the negative and uh, essentially lighting up the LED so I'll uh, show you what that looks like okay so now from here you could see pretty much how this is going to turn out so here it is the uh, you bend the uh, the contacts of the LED you got to be careful when you bend them because these are very very fragile you can easily break them but the uh, the positive which is the longer one will be connected to the pole and the 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 negative will be uh, bent it slightly higher just so that it will actually be pointing towards the top of the pole now what I'm going to do is because this the positive end is a little longer I'm going to literally wrap the end around the pole. I'm going to literally create a loop of the with the with the uh, with the uh, with the wire. So I'll, I'm going to let me do that and just show you how it looks. Okay. Well, I've uh, just wrapped the uh, the positive uh, uh, connector around the the pole. You can probably see a little bit. There's a little bit of excess there on the. Uh, uh, the, when it wraps around it, the leaves there is the the the, uh, the leg is a little bit longer than the actual pole itself. And the, so what I, I'm going to do is just end up just uh, nipping or cutting the the excess out. Once that is done, I am going to solder it into place. Also, um, a little uh, a very important note: when you solder the wire, make sure that the uh, negative contact for the LED is not touching the uh, the post. Uh, you want to have it uh, just protrude a little, a little bit higher here. You can see that I've set it up just a little bit higher and even put a slight bend into it. And uh, what that will do is uh, we will feed the uh, a wire through the brass pole and have it sticking out of the top. But uh, before you solder it into place, you want to make sure that there is a pretty decent gap between the two. And uh, once you're uh, sure of that, we'll solder the uh, I'll solder the uh, the positive contact to uh, the brass pole. Alright guys, well here you go. This is what it looks like. So you solder in the uh, the end piece and you leave the top part protrude, protruding a little bit here. And you can clearly see I, I haven't touched it. Now you're going to need to take a piece of a, a piece of um, heat shrink tubing, uh, cut a small piece uh, roughly about the length that you see here and uh, place it into or place it on top of the tube that will act as an insulator breaker from the wire that is going to be soldered to the negative end of the uh, of the connector so uh, what I'm going to do right now is I am going to feed a wire from the negative inside the tube I'm going to feed it through the top have it protruding through the through the top end here and solder into place once that is soldered I'm going to move the uh, heat shrink tubing upside down, kind of like this here, as you can see here. And then I'm going to seal it up. I'm going to heat the heat shrink tubing and it's going to seal the connection. So like that, there's an actual break between the pole 
and the negative connector so there's no way that they will actually touch each, each other okay well here you go I kind of soldered her up so now I have a little piece that's protruding out a little bit so what I'm going to then do is just going to go in and I'm just going to cut that little piece off with my wheel nippers right through here there we go that's just to clean it up a little bit I'm just gonna remove this and there you have it so that's what it'll look like in the top two I've, heat, I've uh, heated the uh, heat shrink tubing so it's wrapped nice and tight so there's no way that that end the negative is going to contact with the pole and it also kind of adds a little small little decorative touch to the to the lamp post next is going to be well you need to attach or solder the uh, wire to the brass tube itself so that'll create the positive contact so uh, once that is done then I'll have to glue the uh, lamp cover onto the uh, LED okay well right now what I've done is I've uh, soldered on the uh, the end the wire to the uh, to the brass tube so now I got the two wires coming out uh, don't forget to mark the negative wire of the tube you can probably just maybe uh, use a marker if you want you can use also different wa colored wire and uh, I've also super glued using regular super glue the uh, the tack to the LED. I have it upside down right now just to make sure that the uh, glue doesn't uh, um, drip down on top of the LED so I'd rather have it glued to uh, the back end of the LED so that's why I have it upside down yeah, and I usually have to let this sit here for a few moments but uh, once that uh, dries up within a few moments you can uh, easily uh, handle the, the lamp without a problem all right guys well uh, there you have it that's pretty much uh, how I go about uh, creating a lamppost now what you need to do is uh, solder the resistor to doesn't matter to which end any end of the wire you obviously have to trim the resistor off and just attach the two ends to uh, to the uh, to the wire and uh, then you paint the top of the lamppost here because the LED is going to be shining through it, you paint it a flat black, allow that to dry, and then go ahead and paint the color of the lamppost you wish, whether you want to go with the black or, or a dark gray, in which my case I actually went with a dark gray. You can also go with a brown if you wish. And uh, once it's all painted, uh, the end result, well, I'll show you what the end result looks like. All right, guys, well, then there you have it. That's what uh, the lamps uh, look like. So now as you look at the lamps closer, you can clearly see the heat shrink tubing at the top with a little wire protruding on top, but you can't really see it as much because it it is pretty, uh, pretty soldered to close together and it's uh, cut pretty tight. So uh, it looks more like a decorative, uh, a decorative uh, accent to the lamp post. And uh, that is it. Once you paint it, let it dry. Uh, put it in place and uh, that's it it's a lot cheaper than uh, buying uh, lamp posts for uh, streets uh, at this point on it's a lot cheaper you can just do them yourself so my entire uh, town is going to be uh, lit up with these uh, lamp posts well I hope you guys liked this uh, little how-to on how to scratch and build the uh, lamp posts for street lighting and uh, as always if you got any comments please uh, feel free to leave any comments um, and this is uh, DC Lavalois signing up. Bye, guys.